Hello everyone, this is Sean Hendricks, back from SIGGRAPH, followed by a vacation, followed by many days of recovering from uh, email overload. Uh, now ready to get back into the video blogging thing, so I thought I'd start off with just a quick update from SIGGRAPH and what was going on at the show. Uh, unfortunately, I can't tell you a whole lot about what was going on at the show, because I never got to leave the main stage of the booth for more than a couple minutes. And bless those of you who brought me food. But there are a couple of things I noticed, and one of the things I want to just let you guys know is, again, thank you very much for all of you coming out and watching the virtual uh, online event, watching the live stream, checking out the on-demand videos. It was a huge turnout. Uh, we literally had thousands of people watching the live stream over the three days, uh, and then exponentially more people watching the on-demand videos, because uh, obviously I didn't expect too many people uh, to get up in Japan at 2 in the morning to watch the live stream, so I'm sure they waited for the on-demand version. Uh, but it was a huge amount of bandwidth. In fact, here is the bandwidth chart from the area, just to give you an idea of the spike. Uh, you can see at the very beginning there, it's just uh, a little tiny line, and then it suddenly spikes up. That's day one of SIGGRAPH. Uh, and then the rest of this graph is showing the following weeks of this month, uh, how that bandwidth is continuing to spike around. So been a very busy, busy month on the area. Uh, I can expect to see more. Uh, we had the master classes up during SIGGRAPH. They will be going up again shortly. As you can see from the bandwidth issues we had there, we pulled down some of the master classes to put them onto a new server and our hosting company has been taking forever to get that running. Other news is we're going to be putting all of those master classes into multiple languages. So you'll see them in I think eight languages coming up later in September. Uh, thanks to the success of the online SIGGRAPH this year, expect that we'll be able to do a lot more uh, probably by next year, especially around the realm of subtitling and things like that to make it more of an international event for everyone. SIGGRAPH itself wasn't what I would call a huge success, certainly not from the point of the SIGGRAPH organization. Uh, something like a 65% drop in attendance shouldn't be all that surprising when you consider that SIGGRAPH first was happening in a year of the economy as it is, and then holding it in New Orleans a long way away from the film industry in LA never helps either. Uh, but if you're going to hold a SIGGRAPH away from LA, New Orleans is not a bad place to do it, uh, especially if you have any enjoyment of partying, drinking, enjoying yourself at night. Uh, Bourbon Street is always the way to do that. Somehow my liver managed to survive, but just barely. And of course, it wouldn't be New Orleans without an unusual bar experience, and as much as it sounds like a joke, uh, and then a horse walked into the bar. No, really. There we are, just drinking, and suddenly there's a horse over our shoulders in the bar. Not stuff you see in your average bar where I'm from. Uh, very, very tough on the body, that show. So that was just a look at SIGGRAPH. One of the things you might notice here on the video... I've gone out of my way to try and figure out what was going on, and yes, I now have much better video quality than I did before, so yeah, I can zoom in and things don't get ugly. Well, it's me in HD, so hard to say, but at least it's not horribly blurry and smeary. Uh, what I did was just connected my camera to a computer that had actual horsepower instead of my laptop over my shoulder here, which obviously is in desperate need of a hardware upgrade. Uh, so, speaking of hardware and making things faster, the one thing I got to look at at uh, SIGGRAPH this year uh, was to go and physically check out uh, Fusion IO's new technology. They're releasing a board called the IO Extreme, which is an 80 gigabyte card that plugs into your PCIe slot and basically becomes an 80 gigabyte hard drive, but it's fully solid state. So, it's like an 80 gig hard drive running at RAM speeds. Uh, now, anyone who's tried to do compositing with large frames or editing with HD will know the biggest bottleneck is your hard drive because all these physical spinning parts and everything is generating heat, it's sucking power, it's doing all this stuff, uh, everything but giving you data fast. Well, the solid state technology means lower power usage, lower heat generation, and more importantly, blazingly fast data throughput. Uh, I think it's something like 650 megabytes per second coming off of a card. You can actually raid the cards together so you can get 1,200 uh, megabytes per second on these boards. And, of course, you're going, eh, what would this cost? Well, coming up shortly, it'll be $895 for a single board, uh, which, in my mind, is ridiculously cheap for the efficiency it adds to the production pipeline. Don't want to sound like an advertisement here, but when I check this thing out, it just seemed like a game changer to me. Uh, when they actually had it at the show, they actually showed it on a video wall where they have 1,200 videos playing simultaneously, all DVD resolution, DVD quality, all playing off of this one card. 
simultaneously. This is no small amount of bandwidth. So you're going to want to check this thing out. Uh, so that's basically the news I had from SIGGRAPH. Like I said, not a whole lot because I never got to leave the front of the booth. Uh, what I'm going to do in a couple days, though, is going to be another video that I'm putting out. Uh, I'm going to talk about... Um, uh, lost my train of thought here. Ah, yes. I'm going to talk about virtual filmmaking uh, or real-time cinematography. Uh, basically, this is the type of stuff that people have been talking about around the Avatar project. Now, if you're not aware of what the Avatar project is, the Google Avatar and read up. Uh, it's all the buzz right now. It is going to be pretty awesome by the looks of it, and a large chunk of how it was developed was based around virtual cinematography and real-time filmmaking. So we're going to talk about that in the next video, give you a little idea of some of the other things going on in that space. So that's it for me, and I will talk to you guys later.